Hey everybody, this is Jamie Butif with 432 Design, and I'd like to just add a, a few more thoughts to this structured water thing that we got going on here. A um, couple, or just recently, a person named Donna Mayton uh, posted something to my Facebook page, this long litany of things uh, about how to charge water, how to structure water, all this stuff. Anyway, one of the main things that kind of caught my attention in here is, um, is what she says, now this is a copy, you can go to my Facebook page and you can find it, it's the post of the first video on this, on the, my uh, water structure unit. Anyway, she states that plastic tubes are not good for water, and she emphasizes not. Plastic tubes are not good for water, okay? Now she is the, like I said, she is the Director of Operations at Structured Water Unit, LLC. If you go to her website, they will sell you this plastic tube, and I cut it, I'm going to show you this in a minute. They will sell you this plastic tube with, filled with plastic balls for $400. $400 for this plastic tube, but yet she states that plastic tubes are not good for water. So you can buy this $400 plastic tube and it's fine as long as you get it from them, right? But let me show you these plastic balls that are in here. So I, I cut off a little bit there, but you can see these are thermoplastic, all right? Clearly you can see the, the, uh, the, 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 the brake line on here. These are thermoplastic balls. I don't know what plastic it's made out of, and this smelled like it was acrylic, so but anyway, this is the device. I cut it open. It's natural action, natural action technologies or whatever. Um, and one of the other interesting things about what they claim that this does, all right, uh, the benefits of structured water. Well, down here they tell you the process of what this thing supposedly does, and at the end you get uh, a hexagonal cluster, or hexagonal, you get a hexagonal water cluster. Now, Knowing, knowing geometry, you can't actually make a 3D solid out of hexagon. It's not possible. All right? The only way you can make a 3D solid is if you use squares. All right? You have to, if you're going to put hexagons together, the only way to make a cluster is if you, ha if you have squares that, that go with it, right? To, to tie them all together because you can't make, it's not a, a platonic solid. See, the platonic solids are different. You won't find a hexagonal structure in here because they don't exist. It's not possible. The only other way to do it is to create a, uh, a prism. You can create a hexagonal prism, but you see they're still going to have four sides on it. Like, for example, uh, that quartz crystal. If you take a piece of quartz crystal, which is hexagonal, and you cut it, you're going to get, you can get a prism out of it. But I would like for the people at, um, I would like for, for Donna Mayton and the people over at uh, Structured Water Unit LLC to tell me which one of these clusters or which one of these things does her hexagonal water cluster look like? I mean, what, what are they talking about here? It doesn't make any sense. So you can buy a $400 piece of plastic tube from them, and it's fine. And it creates some imaginary, uh, physically impossible water hexagonal water cluster. So maybe you, they can explain this to me, because I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. So anyway, just wanted to share this. Thanks for watching.